The guard logic system uses a safety signature to verify the integrity of a safety application. Guard Logics version 36, released in 2023, introduced safety signature elements. Safety signature elements divide the guard logic's safety controller signature into smaller pieces and assigns each piece a safety ID and an updated time and date. The ID is generated by the guard logics controller and is the primary indication of safety integrity. The timestamp is generated by Logics Designer software and provides an indication of when changes were made based on the PC time when the safety signature was generated. The smaller safety signature elements simplify software management by promoting the reuse of standard code and providing change detection at a more granular level. The appropriate level of validation should always be based on a safety impact analysis. To understand the different levels of the safety signature elements, let's start from the most basic level and build an entire controller safety signature. A safety input device has a safety input signature, a connection signature, and an overall device signature. These three signatures are present for each safety input device in the I.O. configuration. A safety output device adds an output signature for output data creating a total of four signatures per output device. Devices with both safety inputs and outputs have the same four signature structure. All of the safety modules in the I.O. configuration combine to create an overall safety I.O. configuration signature. Safety add-on instructions have a signature for each routine that is in use. These routines could include the logic, pre-scan, post-scan, and enable in false. Each add-on instruction, parameters, and local tags have a signature. The overall add-on instruction has a safety signature. Each safety add-on instruction in a controller has this three to six safety signature structure. All add-on instructions in a controller combine to create an overall add-on instruction safety signature. Safety programs have a signature for each routine and a signature for parameters and local tags. Changes to parameter and tag properties, including name, type, and structure are monitored by the parameters and tags signature. The value of a tag is not part of the signature unless the tag is declared a constant. Safety critical values should be stored as constants or written using logic in the safety task. The safety program signature is made up of all routines and the parameters and local tags. There is a safety signature for each safety program. The safety signatures of each program combine with the safety task configuration and program schedule to make up the safety task signature. This program example has modular programs for each safety section of the machine. The tag mapping signature represents the standard data being safety mapped to the safety task using the safety tag mapping found in the logic menu, Map Safety Tags. The controller tag's safety signature represents the controller scope safety tags. Changes to tag properties are monitored by the controller tag's signature. The value of a tag is not part of the signature unless the tag is declared a constant. Safety critical values should be stored as constants or written using logic in the safety task. Controller attributes represent the controller configuration in the controller properties safety tab. This includes SIL configuration, safety I.O. replacement configuration, and the run mode safety signature protection. The safety application signature includes the safety I.O. configuration, safety add-on instructions, safety task, tag mapping, controller tags, and controller attributes. The controller safety signature encapsulates all safety-related software in the controller. The safety application signature appears to be a redundant signature level under the controller safety signature. However, the intent is to have a controller firmware upgrade only affect the controller safety signature. If the firmware does not affect the safety application, the safety application signature can remain the same. An impact analysis could then be used to determine the proper level of validation required for a firmware update.
A guard logics application must be downloaded to a physical controller to create a controller safety signature. While the controller is in program mode, select Generate Signature from either the Controller Properties Safety tab or from the Controller Status Safety pull-down menu. The signature generation process creates new signatures where none exist and either updates or validates any existing signature elements. The Logics Designer application Quick View pane displays the safety ID and safety updated time of each signature element. Click on any element in the active organizer to see the element signature. Sometimes the Quick View pane must be dragged up from the bottom of the screen to show the safety information. The signature elements are displayed in different colors. Blue indicates the most recent signature change. An application converted to firmware version 36 or greater for the first time will display all elements blue after the initial signature generation. When viewing blue signature elements, review the date to determine when the most recent change took place. Safety signatures displayed in black indicate no change. Elements with signatures already in place can be copied into an existing project and retain the signature from the origin file. For example, a routine with no external dependencies can be copied into an application, and when the signature is generated, that element will remain black. The parent element, such as the program for a routine, will indicate the presence of change in blue. The color gray indicates an unverified element signature. If the controller safety signature is removed, the signature elements display as gray. Previously verified elements copied or imported into an application display as gray. The gray transitions to black or blue when the controller safety signature is generated. The Quick View pane provides individual element signature status to the online user. The Safety Signature Report provides a holistic, color-coded signature status of the entire controller. From the Tools menu, select Safety. Generate Signature Report. A Signature Report HTM file for the current application is created locally and automatically opened in a web browser. The Safety Signature Report contains project file information, the report generated date, the controller safety signature, and all safety signature elements. The default view is expand all, but the report can be collapsed by element sections or be filtered to show the last updated blue items only. The safety signature report can be used to determine where changes have been made in a safety application and equally important, the safety elements that have not changed. The Logics Designer Compare tool is useful for locating the specific changes by comparing the current Logics Designer application project file to an archived project. That concludes today's lesson on Guard Logics Safety Signature Elements.